When he first told me that he wanted to be a dad, it just felt like the most natural thing I had ever heard. He is one of the most enthusiastic people that I've ever met. Seeing him interacting with children before, he just lights up. His, his heart is overflowing with love to give, and I know that it's his desire and his calling to to give love in, in the role of a parent. He's so trustworthy, he's very responsible. I know he will be an amazing dad. I think it becomes very clear when you meet Kevin, this man really loves life and really wants to give that to a kid, to share that life. I don't think Kevin Gerdes is going to be a great father. I know Kevin is a great father because I've had the privilege of being able to watch him be a daddy already. Kevin is a nurturer by nature. He is at his best when he is able to give and provide for others. When he was fostering and uh, seeing the way that he was with, with, with his kids at the time, um, it was honestly beautiful. Like he fit into it so seamless, um, so attentive, so just on top of everything. It was really, really wonderful to see. And not saying that I was surprised, but it was just like, dang, like, nice, good work. Not only have I experienced his huge heart and um, his incredible personality as a friend, but I've also seen it in the way that he has cared for the children that have come into his home through the foster care system. Um, he has given 150% of himself to these children. Kevin is one of those people that is just meant to be a dad. He's willing to share his vulnerability and um, his ups and downs of what that whole experience or journey is with the world, um, with friends, with other people who are struggling or um, to inspire other people on the same journey. Um, and I think that's beautiful. And I think any baby would be so lucky to have um, him as a daddy and, you know, vice versa, because what a blessing a child is. Right? When I received those messages from people and started editing and listening to them back, I was kind of overwhelmed with how many kind and sweet things that people had to say about me, in particular surrounding this foster care journey and me being a parent in general. So I just want to say thank you. Thank you because I feel seen. You know, if you've been watching my journey to parenthood on YouTube, you certainly, certainly have seen the ups and the downs that I've encountered as I navigated this foster to adopt process here in Los Angeles. And while I'm grateful to have loved and cared for baby S and the other babies that have come through my home, and as I've poured out my soul to the world, to just to everyone, I realized that I just couldn't do this anymore. After babies were taken away from me, after all the gaslighting and waiting and waiting for no baby to end up showing up, I just couldn't do it anymore. And that, I think, is the reason why I decided to pivot how I'm going about becoming a father and do something different. So I've decided to do something that I never, never thought I could do. I mean, this is something that I actually told people I just could never, would never do. And that is to begin the process of IVF and surrogacy to have a biological child of my own. So yeah, you heard that right. <laughs> Buckle in world because we're making little Kevins. Fasten your seatbelt. <laughs> so I've chosen an international surrogacy company located in Cancun, Mexico uh, to help me facilitate this process, to navigate it all. 
And I don't wanna say the name of the company just yet because everything I do do is so public. I want a sense of, you know, anonymity around that. And maybe it'll be something I share later, I'm not sure. And as many people know, surrogacy is not cheap. It's probably one of the most expensive ways to become a parent. So being that it's Mexico and things are far cheaper there and this company is, you know, very well known with LGBTQ surrogacy and supporting couples of same sex uh, partnerships and marriages, as well as LGBTQ people who are single, I just felt like this was the right company to go with. So with the encouragement of friends and people that I hold really close to me, that's why I decided to start this GoFundMe. I am working hard at my real estate career to fund as much of this goal as possible. Yes, yes, yes I am. Am I tapping into my savings to contribute? Yes I am. But I'm also asking my friends, my family, and those of you who have watched me on this journey on social media for your help too. I know that my authenticity and vulnerability over the last year has helped many people see what it's like to be single, gay, and a dad, especially doing it through the foster care system. I've let you all see me cry, I laughed with you, and more. If I've been able to share my world and my heart with you honestly, and you felt that, please, will you help me with this new path? So would you please donate anything you can to make this lifelong dream of mine come true? $5, $10, $500 more, anything helps. If you can skip a $2.95 cup of Starbucks coffee today and donate that to this campaign, would you please do that? If you wanna do it anonymously, you can do it anonymously. If you don't, you don't have to, you can do it publicly, whatever you want. You can scream it from the rooftops and I hope you do. <laughs> so I want to make sure there's a lot of transparency here and, and what this money is going to. I'll be doing a separate video on my YouTube channel to discuss the various stages of payment for this surrogacy process. I'll post those details on the GoFundMe campaign as well, but the way that this is broken up with the agency, there are various stages of payment along the process of the pregnancy. So to start, it's one fee. To, to start for the next stage, it's like a good $13,000 and so on and so on. I think three or four times. I will break all that down in another video though. And of course, I'm going to continue documenting everything on my YouTube. So you'll see all of the trips to Mexico. You'll come with me to the fertility appointments. You will see all the highs. You will meet new baby on their birthday, on the day that they're born, you will see all of it. I will continue documenting this process. Just because we're pivoting, just because I'm no longer foster care, doing foster care, does not mean that I'm going to not be on YouTube and document my process, because this is a process of me becoming a father. And to do that, to make all of this happen, I just need your help. So would you please donate to my GoFundMe? You can visit the link that's on the screen here or most likely in the description of this video, wherever you are watching it, I put the hyperlink for the GoFundMe there as well. So I wanna also say this, honestly, thank you to everyone. Thank you to everyone who has called me, texted me, sent me DMs, Everyone who has commented on my videos on YouTube or Facebook or Instagram, I just wanna say thank you because your support has literally changed my world. You know, people in the LGBTQ community have a thing called a chosen family for a reason. I am so excited to share this next journey adventure with you all. Please support.